the theme for today's liturgy is go proclaim the good news to all how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news the good news is the salvation liberation and freedom that we experience when we commit ourselves to follow Jesus Christ well of our brothers three captains Prepared themselves to be present in this Sharing in Christ's mission of grace to be a sacrament to the people, it is the task of the deacons to assist the bishop and the priests in the celebration of the sacred mysteries, in celebration of the Eucharist in distribution of Holy Communion, in assisting at and blessing marriages, in the proclamation of the Gospel, in preaching, in presiding over funerals, and in dedicating themselves to various ministries of charity. The liturgy of the day is as follows. We begin with the entrance procession, followed by the lighting of the lamp. The rector will then welcome the bishop and the congregation. Thereafter, the Holy Eucharist begins. After the proclamation of the gospel, the ordination to the diaconate begins. The bishop will carry on with the Eucharist thereafter. To maintain the sanctity and decorum of the ceremony, we request you all to switch off your mobile phones and refrain from moving around in the chapel for photography. Let's all strive to make this celebration a spiritual experience and devotion. Kindly rise for the entrance procession. Thank you. 
Bishop Thomas Dabre, along with the concelebrants on the altar and scholastic Ravinda, will now kindly come forward and light the lamp. I now invite Father Rector to welcome the Bishop and the gathering. Kindly be seated. Dear friends, today is indeed a moment of joy and gratitude for all of us as 12 of our brothers, three Capuchins and nine Jesuits will be ordained deacons. On behalf of Dinobili College community, I welcome all of you to this Eucharistic celebration. In the first place, a warm welcome to His Lordship, Bishop Thomas Dabre, Bishop of Pune. His paternal love and blessings at all times have always been a source of inspiration and support for all of us. I would also like to welcome the two provincials of the Capuchins, Fathers Philip and Waldheim, as well as the rector of La Verna community, Father Benhar Patil, to this Eucharistic celebration. At the same time, a heartfelt welcome to all priests, religious, and friends who are present here in person for this diaconate, as well as those who are connected with us through the online mode. A special word of gratitude to the family members of the two be deacons. Some of them are here in this chapel and have blessed us with their presence, while others are participating in this Eucharistic celebration through live streaming that has been made available. On behalf of both the religious congregations, the Capuchins and Jesuits, allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you. You have made the great offering of giving your sons to serve the Lord and his people and be assured that the Lord will bless you manifold for your generosity. The theme of this diaconate is 
go proclaim the good news for all jesus is the good news he is the response to the longings of the human heart and reveals the fullness of god's love in every age and place our brothers through their very lives have shown an ardent desire to manifest this good news not merely for a small select group but for all peoples without distinction of any religion culture caste age or gender the world today is divided in so many ways and needs healing and reconciliation let us pray during this eucharistic celebration that our brothers may be more and more conformed to the image and likeness of jesus christ may their constant yes to god's will like that of our blessed mother make them a blessing for all peoples and at all times with these words of welcome let us continue with the eucharistic celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of, and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god our father and the communion the unity of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit so beloved brothers and sisters i thank for the rector for his very kind words of welcome it is indeed a great honor joy and a privilege for me to be here in this dinobly college seminary to ordain 12 of our young deacons it's a great honor and joy for me and an opportunity also and uh, the theme that he has announced just now is so very relevant to be a deacon means to be a servant and we have to be servants at the end of it all by proclaiming the good news which is which is displayed on the wall there so that is the service that we have uh, to render proclamation of the gospel so with these thoughts and sentiments let us realize that in many ways we have our failings let us ask the lord to purify us and to forgive us priyani premal bandhu bhaginin aaj ke is avsar par hum hamare 12 jawano ko dikan यानी सेवक बना रहे है सेवक बनने के लिए उनका आज ऑर्डिनेशन मिल रही है तो ये हम ये होली मास तहे तो दिल से आनंद से उन लोगों के लिए अर्पण कर रहे हैं खासकर और हम सबों को भी ये प्रेरणा मिलती रहे कि हम हमारी जिंदगी में जैसे जीसस ने हमेशा दूसरों की सेवा की हमें भी दूसरों की सेवा करनी है ये जीसस का संदेश ये पूरे जहां को दुनिया को बताते तो अभी हम शांत रहे हम ईश्वर के सामने कभी शुद्ध नहीं है ईश्वर के दिल से हम अभी क्षमा चाहे है आई कन्फेस टू ऑल माइटी गॉड to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the spirit of virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen amen
Let us pray. O God, who have taught the ministers, the servants of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters, grant, we pray, that these twelve servants whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the whole book of Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, 
but you shall reason frankly with your neighbor, lest ye incur sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians. Brethren, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroy God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you thinks that he is wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is folly with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness and again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All are yours and you are Christ's and Christ is God's. The word of the Lord. 
the gospel. Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You, therefore, must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus. Now, the ordination to the diaconate begins. The congregation is requested to kindly remain seated. Father Rector will call out the names of each of the candidates to which the candidate will rise and respond, Here I am his intention before the church to be ordained a deacon. All will respond at the end, thanks be to God.
John Ebenezer Bara. Here I am. Ravinder Bara. Here I am. Jackson D'Souza. Here I am. Arvind Royce. Here I am. Francis Paraka. Here I am. Sean De Silva. Here I am. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon recommendation of those who are responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the diaconate. Thanks be to God. Capuchins, those to be ordained deacons, come forward. Praveen Jobandia. Gilbert Remet Fernandez. Jolive Savio Ribeiro. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those who are responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the ordination of the diaconate. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. The bishop will now instruct the candidates on the meaning of the diaconate ordination and the duties of the deacons in the church. Beloved brothers and sisters, the word of God is our main law, our main norm, our main guide. Therefore, at every Mass we have the word of God in two parts or in three parts. I begin by saying this because I think, you know, that we must understand the word of God properly. Because if you don't understand the word of God properly, it can be risky and dangerous. A literal interpretation of the word of God is not the word of God. So I say this because in the second reading from St. Paul, you heard that. What did you hear? that you are the temple of, of the Lord, temple of God, temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in you. If you destroy the temple of God, then what is the next line you heard if you, if you paid attention? If you destroy the temple of God, aapne suna ki nahi? Suna hoga to bolo. Suna nahi hoga to bolo, hamne suna nahi. Ham daydreaming karte the. So if you destroy the temple of God, God will destroy you. Ye dangerous. If somebody hates you, you hate him. If somebody does wrong to you, you do wrong to him. You take a revenge. Aap log badla lete hai. To aap samajta hai ki Ishwar bhi badla leta hai. God doesn't take a revenge. That was on the cross quite clear. Father, forgive them. So, I don't want to spend more time on this. This is an institution of the, for the study of the faith and the word of God. This, 
Tinopoli College. Laverna also. So give them the proper understanding of the word of God. So we have to understand the word of God properly in simple terms. I want to say the message of this point is clear. Respect the temple of God. Full stop. ये बदला बिदला ये ईश्वर का काम नहीं है ये दुश्मनों का काम है इन फैक्ट यू हर्ड इन द फर्स्ट रीडिंग और इन द गॉस्पल टूथ फॉर टूथ दैट इज द मेंटेलिटी ऑफ पीपल टूथ फॉर टूथ माजा थोबाड़ी तुम्हारे लिए तुझा थोबाड़ी ऐसा चल रहा है दुनिया में फगीवनेस नहीं है दुनिया में ना है फर ना है मजा डोला काड़ला तुझा डोला काड़ो जीजस सेज इट विल नॉट बी लाइक दिस सो जीजस एक्चुअली हेज करेक्टेड द सेकेंड रीडिंग इज नॉट करेक्शन एक्चुअली But if you understand the word of God, it is clear that respect the temple of God. You are the temple of God. And now, as we have these diaconat friends, I saw the Pope. I just looked behind at the Vatican. There was a lift, and a man was waiting there. I looked closely; he was the Pope. हमने ऐसा कभी मेरी दुनिया मेरी जिंदगी में देखा नहीं कि होली फादर लिफ्ट के लिए ठहरे हैं वहां पर और लिफ्ट बुलाते हैं दी सर्विस खाने के समय मैंने पीछे देखा तो एक बड़ा आदमी ये डिश दूसरी डिश तीसरी डिश देखते हुए अपना खाना लेता है मैंने देखा होली फादर पोप सिंपल लाइफ दट इज ए सर्विस लाइफ ऑफ सर्विस अथॉरिटी मीन सर्विस बीइंग अ प्रिस्ट मीन सर्विस दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टुडे इज डाय कैन इट सर्व यू कॉल टू सर्व हमने बहुत ऐसे जेजविज देखे हैं सिंपल सर्विंग इन द किचन सर्विंग इन द गार्डन आपने सुना है काल रानर का नाम माइंडिंग द डो बैल इज माई जॉब माइंडिंग द डो बैल इज माई जॉब अवॉट हमेशा कहते हैं काल रानर ने ऐसा नहीं किया ये मेरा जॉब है क्या मैं इंटरनेशनल थियोलॉजन हूं जो काम दिया वो काम करते रहो एंड द चर्च हैज कैनोनाइज सेंट्स हु वर्क इन द किचन बट आई से ऑल दिस एंड आफ्टर सेइंग ऑल दिस आई वांट टू से that our service is integral our service is complete ye khali door keeping karne ke liye hum father nahi bane aur door keeping ke liye father bane ki zarurat hi nahi hai refectory mein kitne log kaam karte hai wo kya father hai kya wo log kya sister hai उसके लिए सिस्टर फादर बनने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन ये मैसेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी आर कॉल्ड टू सर्व वी थिंक समटाइम्स दैट वी आर बिग शॉट्स आई एम अ प्रीस्ट आई मस्ट गेट दिस ट्रीटमेंट एंड दैट ट्रीटमेंट यू नो बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल्स बेस्ट मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट दिस वट आई एक्सपीरियंस best medication best doctors best 
हॉस्पिटल्स अरे इसलिए नहीं हम फादर लोग बने इसलिए नहीं हम फादर बने आवर लाइफ इज लाइफ ऑफ ह्यूमिलिटी एंड सर्विस फ्रेंड्स एंड आवर लाइफ एज आई सेड इज अ कंप्लीट कंप्लीट विजन इंटीग्रल विजन ये खाली है सेवा करने के लिए नहीं ईश्वर का मैसेज देने के लिए ये लिखा है ये ये वॉल पर लिखा है नहीं ये हमारा काम है प्रोक्लेम द गॉस्पल या खाना पीना देंगे दवाई देंगे स्कूल चलाएंगे लेकिन ईश्वर का शब्द नहीं है प्रोक्लेमेशन नहीं है ये तुम फादर है क्या तुम फादर है प्रोक्लेम द गॉस्पल दस द वंडरफुल दस द सर्विस वी हैव टू गिव और हमें ईश्वर का वचन सुनाना है इसलिए हम ये सारा काम करते हैं और ये जीसस का वचन है ना कि मैं भूखा था मुझे प्यास लगा था लगाई थी लगी थी तो आपने मुझे सेवा की तो सही बात है लेकिन ईश्वर का वचन होली मास प्रेयर मेडिटेशन कॉन्टम्पलेशन यह हमारा काम है ये लोगों को सिखाना एंड माइंड यू माई फ्रेंड्स इन द प्री स्टूडेंट आर नाउ गोइंग टू बिकम डीकन्स एंड देन प्रीस मनी ऑफ आर कैथलिक्स आर नॉट टॉट to pray this i am my conclusion after being priest for so many years we have not taught them how to pray who is a christian the disciples as lord teach us to pray like you pray teach us ye hamara kaam hai logon ko prayer kaise karna ye sikhana hamara kaam hai aur isliye hum father bane hai so the message that i want to give you is a service complete service service of salvation friends that is why we be a priest that's why we take the vow or the promise of celibacy ye celibacy ko koi zarurat nahi hai ye dispensary chalane ke liye hospital chalane ke liye bahut sare doctors humse acche hai un shaadi shuda hai sam shaadi shuda hai हमको नहीं है शादी सुधा हम बैचलर है क्या हम स्पिंस्टर है क्या हम सेलिब्रेट्स है हमने वाव और प्रॉमिस ऑफ सेलिबस ही ली है क्या के लिए ईश्वर के लिए जीसस के लिए और सेलिब्रेट कौन है whose best friend is jesus o celebrate hai jisne apna kaleja apna heart jesus ko diya hai wo celebrate hai celebrate wo practice karte hai dil mein jesus ke liye pyar nahi hai ye celebrate nahi hai ye bachelor wala hai so this is a fundamental question we have to have before us always i am a celibate means what there is a lot of secularization friends among us i want to say that i am on the, i was on the papal commission in india for studying life in the seminaries so one of the remarks i made this was way back in 1998 my remark was secularization is creeping into the houses of formation today i want to correct my remark secularization has not crept into the church secularization has captured sections of the church captured father rector very wisely and prudently describes situation in the world तो डायरेक्टर ऑल्सो सर इन सोसाइटी एंड इन द वर्ल्ड बहुत सारी समस्याएं हैं 
گرجا میں نہیں سمجھ سکے چرچ میں نہیں سمجھ سکے یہ انڈیا کے چرچ میں سمجھ سکے نہیں ہے یہ سیکولرائزیشن کا یہ اثر ہے And we have to fight it and remove it from the church. That's why we have the problems, you know. Friends, I always believe to be a priest means or to be deacon. From natural to the supernatural, we have to make the transition. Hum natural lives nahi ne bitate. We don't live natural life. Natural life is to get married, man. Natural life, uh, uh, Adam said, uh, there is nothing in this world who can be my soulmate or my friend. Nothing in the world. Natural life is when he saw a woman, he said, ah, this is the bone of my bone and a flesh of my flesh. This is natural life. The celibacy of the life of the life, this is not natural life. یہ ہمیں دھان میں لینا ہے میڈیٹیشن کرو کانٹمپلیشن کرو پریئر کرو کی سیلیبسی کیا ہے یہ سیلیبسی نیچرل نہیں ہے لیکن ہم نہیں کہتے کہ یہ سیلیبسی آن نیچرل ہے یہ نہیں ہم کہتے سیلیبسی ان در ٹرمز آف در گریٹ سائیکالوجیس ویکٹر فرانکل It's a sublimation from rising, rising from the natural to the supernatural, sublimation with highest energy, highest dedication. That is celibacy. Celibacy who are li hai, natural life pitata hu. This celibacy nahi hai. So I was making this point that our message is there's wonderful caption there. Kya likha hai bhai log dekans maa pa kya likha hai? Hey kya likha hai kya? Proclaim the good news. Yeah, amari good news. You have to live in Christ. Live for Christ. That's why we are celibates. یہ ایسا نہیں کہ ہم لوگوں کے دل میں مہیلاؤں کے لئے پیار نہیں ہے ایسا نہیں ہے میری ماں تو مہیلا تھی تو اس کے لئے میرے دل میں پیار نہیں تھا پیار صحیح ہے لیکن عشور کے پیار کے لئے یہ سب پیار ہم نے ان کا سیکریفائز کیا ہے So this is the meaning of celibacy and I think celibacy does not come by chance. This I tell you friends. Celibacy demands life of silence. Celibacy demands life of prayer. Celibacy demands life of meditation and contemplation. Today in the church also less and less meditation and contemplation. یہ ہمارے لیے یہ دھوکے باجی ہے یہ دینجرس that's why we have these problems and so in celibacy we love Jesus and we love one another celibacy is not absence of love celibacy more and more love سبوں کے لیے celibacy وہ جو پیر ہے celibate ہے ان کا سبوں کے لیے پیر ہے exclusive no I have seen, sorry, I have to speak plainly, I can't help it. The celibate people cannot have chosen friends and exclusive friends in the community. I have lived in the communities, you know my history. Are, how many people are here? Who is 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 here? We can't have exclusive friends. Friendship. We love all. You can have special friends. We have said that you will have all of your special friends in the world. Okay, no exclusive friendship. Not neglecting others. 
This is very important for us celibacy. So, friends, the promises being made today of celibacy is very important. And this, you know, to give Jesus to the world. Yeah, just say, we have refectory me seva karne ke liye, garden me seva karne ke liye, ye celibacy ko kuch jarurat nahi hai, ye deacon and father banne ko kuch jarurat nahi hai. Wo log, us log mujhse acha kaam karte hai refectory me. Kya kabhi kabhi log mujhse ka kitchen se hata dete hai, to nahi hoga to acha hoga hi kitchen me. So the point I'm making is, we have to give the good news of salvation to the people. And Jesus' message of salvation today is a subversion of the order. Jesus is a great subverter. He is a great revolutionary. And that first reading, Love thy neighbor as thyself. Hate nobody. Be holy. This is a different kind of a message. Love everybody. Today love, love bhi kuch nahi hai. Hate chal rai. हमारे भारत में बहुत हेड चल रहा है ईश्वर के नाम से हेड चल रहा है धर्म के नामों से हेड चल रहा है धर्म क्या है आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी फॉर द रेक्टर स्पोक अबाउट रिलीजंस या देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ रिलीजंस इन माय कंट्री बट हैज रिलीजन इंपैक्टेड लाइफ इन द कंट्री हैज इट इंपैक्टेड ये इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन all kinds of things are going on in this country. Religions plenty. Religious spirit? What? Zero? Not up to the mark that you know. So friends, that is the first reading. Jesus is a great subverter. And second reading we heard, St. Paul tells us, we don't believe in the knowledge of the world. We believe in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. But knowledge of the world is empty show. That's what St. Paul says. I'm not say, saying this. We believe in the wisdom of God. We don't believe in the wisdom of the world. We don't say that we have to read the world, we have to read the world, we have to read the world, we have to read the world. True knowledge is in Jesus Christ which we get in the word of God, in meditation, in contemplation. Authentic mark of an authentic, genuine spirituality is daily meditation and contemplation and prayer. This is my conclusion. And so, in the uh, first reading, second reading, Paul clearly tells us how Jesus subverts the order, not the knowledge of the world for us, our norm. Knowledge of Christ, that is the norm for us. And it's a subversion, you know. It's a dislodgement of the established order. And finally you heard in the gospel, what the gospel says, to be the generous, generous to the people. When people look at you, you must feel, this guy is generous, he's accessible, he's welcoming. He is available. We have not said that you have to come to me. You have to come to me. Do you not think? It is a lot of difficulty for us. But we are going to welcome everyone. Jesus has told us in the gospel. Somebody asks you for one favor, do a double favor. It means that you have to give a double favor. It means that you have to give a double favor. It means that you have to give a double favor. Kindness. Unlimited kindness. And finally, Jesus, you know, he says, I have come to serve and give my life to the world. That is our service, friends. We cannot keep anything for ourselves. I don't believe. There is a lot of talk. I have been here, you know, you don't know my history. 50, 60 years I've been here. Be human, be human. Be, uh, Live up to your identity. Go for self-fulfillment. That is self-fulfillment ke liye father nahi wana mai. Is liye mere haat mein abhi tak matric ka certificate hai. Hum kuch bhi hai, MA bhi mein kuch nahi hai. Ye sab par hai, ye MA, MSC wale hoongay. Or mai khali SSC hoong. School mein 
नौकरी भी नहीं देंगे ये लोग बट माई पॉइंट इज दैट यू ना दैट वी हैव कम टू गिव जीजस क्राइस्ट टू द वर्ल्ड द नॉलेज ऑफ जीजस क्राइस्ट एंड बी काइंड एंड जनरल जनरस एंड फाइनली द थॉट यू नो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे इज फर्स्ट रीडिंग द चू हर इज मोस्ट इज द मोस्ट वंडरफुल वर्ड्स इन द वर्ल्ड effective in action we have to be act effective make a difference to the lives of friends people here yeah, my gardener makes a difference to my life my watchman has made a difference to my life my driver who is here has made a difference to my life ava ka mandatella ava housekeeper has made a difference to my life yeah i see them working hard and i can sleep a lot and while away my time so to be effective in action you don't need to be big a big shot to make a difference to the lives of people anybody can make a difference to the lives of the people effective in action keep that in mind that is to serve दूसरा क्या है जेंटल इन मिनिस्ट्री जेंटल मीक एंड हम्बल अ फॉर्ट जीजस सेड वी जेंटल इन लाइफ वी आर नॉट हेड मास्टर्स एंड हेड मिस्ट्रेसेस यह हम चाबुक वाले नहीं है चाबुक हाथ में लेने के लिए फादर बनने की कोई जरूरत नहीं डिकन बनने को कोई जरूरत नहीं हमने कभी हमारे मुंह से ये बैड वर्ड्स इस्तेमाल करेंगे हमारे में भी है ऐसे बैड वर्ड्स इस्तेमाल करते हैं नो 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 जेंटल जेंटल इन जेंटल जेंटल इन द मिनिस्ट्री यू टू बी जेंटल मीक एंड हम्बल अपार एंड फाइनली कॉन्स्टेंट इन प्रेयर विच आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ सेलेबसी कॉन्स्टेंट इन प्रेयर I want to just uh, share my observation with you, whether you it makes sense to you or not. And I finish. And my last observation is, yeah. They have started in the church adoration chapel. I see people there praying. In general, I will say, do I see our people praying there? ऐसे पीपल हम लोगों को देखते हैं प्रेयर प्रेयर करते लेकिन टू आई सी माई ओन पीपल यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इन द चर्च वेन वी आर चिल्ड्रन वीज टू गो टू द चर्च सो ऑफन ब्लेसड सैक्रमेंट अवर लॉर्ड इज देयर इन द ब्लेसड सैक्रमेंट आर अवर चर्च इज फुल टूडे during the day some are saying that close them during the week just open them for sunday mass aisa chal raha hai lekin prayer kya batati hai hamare zindagi kaise honi hai constant in prayer prayer means what friend to love jesus and to speak to jesus before the blessed sacrament in my room on my bed in travel वेन अलोन हम नहीं ज्यादा ये तुम्हारा क्या इसको क्या कहते हैं स्मार्टफोन हम नहीं ज्यादा देखते ये डिस्ट्रैक्शन पोप है सर इट इज डेंजरस सो यू नो दैट आई हैव स्पोकन लॉन्ग बिकॉज आई एम ब्रिटिश श्योर दैट माय प्रेजेंट पोजिशन मे बी आई एम हियर फॉर द लास्ट टाइम so i made the most of the last opportunity i ask our kind uh, father rector to be merciful to me for being too long in the spirit of diaconate so let us pray for our uh, wonderful deacons and i'm really proud of you that this is a selfish world self centered world and in these young boys any girl would have grabbed you <laughs> and you could have grabbed any girl ye jo jindagi mein hota hai wo hum kehte hain 
खुद की बात नहीं कह पाए हमारे बारे में ऐसा हो गया है बट यू आर चोजन देर नथिंग ब्यूटिफुल एंड दैट यू नो आई हैव कम टू रियलाइज देर इज नथिंग इन लाइफ बेटर देन द स्पिरिट ऑफ सैक्रिफाइस please be seated the bishop i request the congregation to please remain seated the candidates are requested to stand before the church gathered here the candidates will now express their intention to undertake the office of deacon they will also commit themselves to celibacy for the sake of the kingdom and the service of the church dear sons before you enter the order of the diaconate you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of hands and the gift of the holy spirit do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to help the priestly order and to benefit the christian people do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges and to proclaim this faith in word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition those of you who are prepared to embrace the celibate state celibacy do you resolve to keep forever this commitment to celibacy as a sign of your dedication to Jesus Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and of man do you do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the holy liturgy of the hours the breviary with and for the people of god and indeed for the whole world do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ of whose body and blood your servants ministers at the altar now the candidates will promise obedience to the ordinary by kneeling before the bishop one by one do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary i do may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment
do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary i do may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superiors may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to the legit uh, and to your legitimate superiors may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and to your legitimate superior i do may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment now the litany of the saints will be sung the candidates prostrate themselves before the altar it symbolizes their unworthiness for the office to be conferred upon them they wholly surrender their lives to christ in the ministry that will be entrusted to them while the litany is being sung we shall all kneel and join the bishop in praying for our candidates my dear people let us pray that god the all powerful father will mercifully pour out the grace of his blessing on these well young servants of his whom in his kindness he raises to the holy order of the diaconate
Lord God, mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing these men we present. For in our judgment we believe them worthy to exercise sacred ministries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Candidates, please rise.
the congregation may be seated. We now come to the most important part of the ceremony, the laying on of hands by the bishop and the prayer of consecration. The candidates will now come forward and the bishop will lay his hands on them, praying in silence. The bishop will now say the prayer of consecration. It recalls the story of the consecrated persons in the Old Testament, the sons of Levi who were consecrated to the threefold ministry of praise, worship, and service of Yah. In the New Testament, seven men were set apart by the apostles to assist them in their ministry of service to the people, especially the poor. We will now stand and pray with the bishop in silence for our brothers that they remain steadfast in their calling. The candidates will kindly kneel. Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged but make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provision for every age as you order all creation through him, through him who is your word, Jesus, your power and your salvation, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that the Church, His body, adorned with manifold heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of its members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple 
as once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle. So now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred offices to serve in your name. And so, in the first days of your church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your sons' apostles appointed seven men of good repute and name to assist them in the daily ministry that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word by prayer and the laying on of hands. They entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. We beseech you, Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours who will minister at your holy altar and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon them, the Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May they abound in them in every gospel virtue, unfeigned love, genuine, authentic love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commandment shine forth in their conduct, so that by the example of their way of life, they may inspire the imitation of your holy gospel in offering the witness of a clear conscience. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, so that by imitating on earth your Son, who came not to be served but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now that our brothers have been ordained deacons, the investiture ceremony takes place. The candidates will stand and the celebrants on the altar will vest them with stoles. The bishop will now present the Bible to the newly ordained deacons and ask them to promise that they will proclaim and explain the gospel to the congregation and live by it. Each deacon will go to the bishop and kneeling before him will receive the word of God. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read. 
teach what you believe and practice what you preach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read. Teach what you believe. And practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you now have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ to announce a herald you now have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ to herald you now have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. जब ये हम ये बात बताते हैं तो एक सिस्टर मेरे पास आई वो शी टोल मी दैट दिस वर्ड्स दैट यू आर रीडिंग मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स एंड आई अग्री विथ था बिफोर रिसीव द गॉस्पल ऑफ क्राइस्ट टू हेरल यू नाउ हैव बिकम बिलीव व्हाट यू रीड टीच व्हाट यू बिलीव एंड प्रैक्टिस व्हाट यू टीच Receive the gospel of Christ to herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Ye Jesus ka subha sandesh. आप अभी हमसे लीजिए जिसका संदेश बताने का काम अपने ऊपर सौंपा गया है जो आप पढ़ते हैं उसके ऊपर आप श्रद्धा रखना और जिसके ऊपर आपकी श्रद्धा है वो आप लोगों को सिखाना और जो लोगों को सिखाते हैं वो अपने अपने जिंदगी में आचरण में लाना ये जीसस के शुभ संदेश आप ले जाइए जिस संदेश लोगों को बताने के लिए आप अभी बन रहे हैं तो जो आप पढ़ेंगे उसके ऊपर आप श्रद्धा रखना और जिसके ऊपर आपकी श्रद्धा है वो लोगों को सिखाना और जो लोगों को सिखाते हैं वो अपने अपने जिंदगी में आचरण में लाना Receive the gospel of Christ to herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ to herald herald you now have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe. and practice what you teach as a conclusion to this ceremony of ordination to the diaconate 
The bishop will now give the candidates the kiss of peace, thereby welcoming them into the collegiality of diaconate leading to priesthood. अभी हम हमारा विश्वास प्रकट कर रहे हैं ऑल प्लीज राइज आई बिलीव इन गॉड द फादर ऑमाइटी क्रिएटर ऑफ द अभी हम हमारी प्रेयर ईश्वर को अर्पण कर रहे हैं और आप अपना ये जवाब है लॉर्ड हियर आज लॉर्ड हियर आज हे प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन ले हे प्रभु हमारी प्रार्थना सुन ले लॉर्ड वी थैंक यू फॉर आर पो फ्रांसिस योर फेथफुल सर्वेंट द कार्डिनल्स द कॉलेज ऑफ बिशप्स द वेरियस द कैस्ट्रीज एट द सर्विस ऑफ द चर्च ऑल प्रीस्ट रिलीजियस एंड ऑल द फेथफुल वी आस्क यू टू ब्लेस ऑल ऑफ देम विद हेल्थ ऑफ माइंड एंड बॉडी we seek your grace of wisdom for them to know and do your will faithfully for this we pray lord, lord hear us lord we seek for the grace of stewardship and servitude for these your children being ordained to the diaconate may all of them be inflamed by the grace to serve you by reaching out to the faithful we also thank and pray for their families who have generously prepared and offered them to be in your service that they may be blessed with health and well-being for this we pray lord, lord hear, hear us. us we pray for the generals and provincials of the OFM capuchins and the society of jesus that the lord may bless and grace them to guide and direct the congregations and provinces we also remember and pray for our province men the province's missions and ministries that under your guiding light we may be able to discern the signs of our changing times and respond to them generously for this we pray lord, lord hear, hear us, us. Lord we pray for our dear bishop Thomas Tabre and the diocese and the city of Pune and also for all the religious congregations living and working in and around this diocese that through your goodness they all may be diligent in your service at all times we also pray for vocations to religious and priestly life and also for vocations to married life 
that you may form the minds and hearts of young women and men to carry on your mission earnestly. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear us. Lord, we pray for the well-being of our country, India, and also for many other nations around the world who are facing socio-political unrest, unemployment, cultural and religious discrimination and fundamentalism, fascism, economic crisis, attacks on minorities, wars, corruption, and many other disabilities. We beg of you for the grace of accountability and humility to restore peace, justice, and liberation of all nations from the evils that they have created. For this we pray. Lord, hear us. We pause for a while with faith and humility to recollect and place our personal and communitarian needs before the Lord. Hare Bhagwan, hum prayer kar rahe hai. Hamare jo mehman aur rishtedar yahan par hai, un sabon ke liye ki jinhone apni ye bete ka Ishwar ke liye tyag kiya hai, unko aashirvadit kariye. Aur hamare desh mein bhi dharam dharam ke vajah se जो सिलसिला चल रहा है जो झगड़े हो रहे हैं तो धर्म क्या है धर्म सेवा है धर्म ईश्वर का संदेश है ये हम सबको अच्छी तरह से मालूम होना है ये सारी प्रेर हम प्रभु ख्रिस्त के द्वारा करते हैं
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for all of His churches. Holy Father, Almighty and loving God, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet, and so set as an example, except we pray the oblations of our service, of our worship, and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with a spirit of humility and zeal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the announcing of, for, uh, anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, you were pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. Jesus chose them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word of salvation, and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, Almighty Father, with all the angels and saints, we too give you the thanks as we joyfully acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it <clears throat> for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice <coughs> and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence. Mr. We pray that partaking of the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop. Be mindful also of these, your servants, whom you have willed to provide today as ministers of the church and of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our spouse, with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Ivara Mukantara Vu, Ivarundiku, Ivara Liu Sarva Shakta Tandeyada Devare, Pavitrat Mara, Aikya Dalli, Sarva Gaurava Mahimeyu, 
ಯುಗ ಯುಗಾಂತರಕ್ಕೂ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿ अभी हम सब मिलकर हमारे हमारी भाषा में जीसस ने जो प्रेय हमें सिखाई है अपनी अपनी भाषा में अभी हम कर रहे हैं हे हम च स्वर्गीय बापा तुझे नौ पवित्र मान ली जाओ तुझे राज जैसे स्वर्ग तसे पृथ्वी भर तुझा इच्छे प्रमाणे हो गो आम ची दर ची भाग कर आज आम दे जसे आम्मी आम अपराध करना क्षमा करते तशी तो आम अपराधां आम क्षमा कर माला महाग पड़ू देव नकोस पर्व वाइटापास डिवर्स लॉर्ड वी प्रे फ्रॉम एवरी ईवल ग्रेशियसली ग्रांट पीस इन आर डेज दट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ यू आर सी वी मे ऑलवेज बी फ्री फ्रॉम सीन एंड सेफ फ्रॉम ऑल डिस्ट्रेस एज वी आर वेट द ब्लेस इन होप and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever o lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever प्रभु की शांति आप सबों के साथ हो और आपके साथ भी लेट अस ऑफर ईच अदर द साइन ऑफ पीस of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say a word and my soul shall be healed Thank you. 
let us pray <coughs> your glory and the salvation of believer. They may be found faithful to minister to the gospel of the servants and of charity, of sacraments and of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, I'm here to express the sentiments of this beautiful day by expressing words of gratitude. I thank our Heavenly Father for choosing able 12 men and making them capable and worthy to be instruments of service. I thank Mother Mary for hiding them in her mantle and seeking them to say yes every day to the will of God as she did. I thank the Holy Catholic Mother Church for attracting them to this service so that the Master's word may be proclaimed. I thank the founders of the Society of Jesus and the Order of Capuchin Friars Minor for attracting this young man to follow in the charism that they have established. I'm here to thank his Lordship, Bishop Thomas Dabry, the shepherd of his flock. I always say, when the shepherd visits his flock, it's a moment of grace, it's a moment of joy, it's a moment to celebrate. And this is exactly what happened today in this beautiful chapel. Thank you, Your Lordship, for being there with us and for giving this young man the duty to serve. I thank the rectors of TNC and La Verna for this beautiful thought of having the diaconate together. It symbolizes our unity our participation and our collaboration in these trying times. We have many things in common, these two great institutes in the church. We have produced missionaries that have gone to places where I feel even angels fear to tread. And we still continue in giving missionaries to the Holy Catholic Mother Church. I thank the Master of Liturgy, Father Ryan, saying to the practice of the brothers and beautifully arranging this celebration. I thank all the brothers and all those who decorated the altar and this chapel, still keeping the sanctity of this place. I thank the choir for the melodious hymns that they chose and for their angelic voices. You helped us 
to pray involving ourselves. I'd like to thank the members of the Consecrated Life and Society of Apostolic Life, the priests who have been present over here to participate in the celebration. Your presence was a joy. I thank you all my brothers and sisters who have come here to pray for the deacons. May God bless you, and I thank you. The last but not the least, I take this opportunity to thank the parents of these deacons. You have gifted your sons to the church, a sacrifice that we will never forget. May the Lord bless you and protect you. Finally, I thank all of you present over here. Your presence really helped and enriched this celebration. God bless you. Kindly note, while the recessional hymn is being sung, the newly ordained deacons will have two official photographs, one with the bishop and the other celebrants on the altar, and the other as a group of deacons themselves. No other photos will be taken. The other concelebrants may proceed to the place of unvesting. This is not the time for individual photos with our deacons. You can do that later after the felicitation ceremony. We request you all to move to the community hall for the felicitation soon after the recessional hymn. We shall begin the felicitation ceremony in about 10 minutes. Please do not delay the function by greeting the deacons after the mass. Let's all rise for the final blessing. प्रभु आप लोगों के साथ हो और आपके साथ भी सर्वशक्तिमान परमेश्वर पिता और पुत्र और पवित्र आत्मा आप लोगों को आशीर्वादित करे सो पहले भाइयों बहनों इट हैज बीन अ ग्रेट सेलिब्रेशन very well organized and there was perfect order. So I want to thank for the rector for inviting me and leaving me so free. He leaves me always free. So I thank him very much for that. But regarding for the riot, he controls me too much. <laughs> and he has to say, rise means I have to get up. He says, go there, I have to go there. But because of that, there was perfect order. So I'm very happy that he is turning out to be a great liturgist. Give a special hand to Father Rector and Father Ryan. <laughs> so I thank you very much. Everything has been summed up in the word of thanks. And I also want to say this one thing. Yadi aap kya dekhna chahte ho? So, our Dinobili College ke Diaconate service ko dekho. All languages are sung there. Wonderful choir. So, give a hand, why not, to the choir also. <laughs> and of course, the day belongs to the deacons. I'm very proud of them, these young people, offering themselves to the Lord. Give them a thundering, rousing. Yeah. Go forth in peace, 
the holy mass is ended thanks be to god now he leaves me free ah huh? Oh, oh, oh. 
Good morning to one and all. Our beloved Bishop Thomas Dabre, dear Father Rector, Father Superior, the newly ordained deacons, dear fathers, brothers, and sisters, a very hearty welcome to you all to this short felicitation program. First of all, we shall have the cutting of the cake. I request the deacons to do the honors. Thank you, dear brothers. Now I invite DNC Choir to sing a wishing song. DNC Choir. Oh, 
Thank you, dear brothers, for your melodious singing. I now request Father Rector and Father Superior to felicitate our deacons. Thank you, dear fathers. I now invite Deacon Jackson to express his sentiments on behalf of the newly ordained deacon, Deacon Jackson. Good morning to all. Johar, Jayesu, Kuble, Namaste. On behalf of all my companions, I take this opportunity to share a few words of gratitude to all who made this day possible. A heartfelt thanks go to Your Excellency, Most Reverend Bishop Thomas Dabre, who is not present here, who has been considerate in taking time for us to ordain us as deacons. On behalf of the entire Jesuit community at the Nobley College, I thank our dear Bishop. A vocation is from God, but nurtured by our family members. Hence, we thank all our family members for nurturing our vocation in the love of God. We fondly remember our dear departed ones who have played an important role in our vocation and are continually interceding for us from heaven. We also thank our friends and associates who have helped us to come a step closer to Jesus. Our heartfelt thanks to Father Francis Puducherry, the rector of Denobly College, for his constant support and care for us. Thank you, Father Francis. We thank Father Robert Das, our minister, for all the arrangements made for this service. We also thank the Kitchen Committee for their creativity and selfless service. We are thankful to Father George Beck. Father George Beck. We are thankful to Father George Beck, who accompanied us during our pre diaconate retreat. Thank you for your spiritual guidance and your availability. We are deeply grateful to all our spiritual directors who have been constantly guiding us and contributing towards our growth. Thank you, dear fathers. Thanks to all the fathers of the community and all the priests and nuns on the campus. Your support and guidance concerning our life here at DNC, and your accompaniment in our studies has helped us immensely. Thanks to the entire liturgy and felicitation committees, including all those who have worked behind the scene for your meticulous planning and execution. We thank the choir for gracefully leading us with the multilingual hymns during the Eucharistic celebration. Thank you for making this occasion a joyful one. Our theology and philosophy companions have toiled hard to make this day meaningful. Thanks 
to all the office bearers and all those who have helped them. Thank you, our dear friends, for your generosity. Thanks to all our collaborators and co-workers who have contributed to their way to our have contributed to their way to our life here at DNC. Finally, we thank Father Ryan Rodericks, the coordinator of the diaconate program, who meticulously trained us. Thank you, Father Ryan, for accepting to direct us, for looking into all the details, and for being there for us as a companion and a guide. We also thank those whom we may have forgotten to mention here. Thank you, everyone, for your selfless and generous contribution towards the smooth functioning of this entire event. Please continue to keep us in your prayers as we go to proclaim the good news to all. May God bless each one of us. I now invite the deacons to proclaim the good news with a song which is composed by Deacon John Ebenezer during his prayerful moments.
Thank you, dear Jackson, for those words that came straight from your heart. And thank you, our dear deacons, for the good news song. With this, we come to the end of our short felicitation program. Tea is served. Kindly feel free to help yourselves. You may make use of this opportunity to greet the deacons and click photographs. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>